give up the biggest love of my life which is food in fact i didn't know i didn't have a stomach for 9 days post surgery when my stomach has been removed how can i get hunger pangs So I was like everybody else what's come in front of me I'll, if I like it I'll eat it everything changed after surgery 5 years before my surgery I was uh, doing real estate in Bangalore and I was on one of these sites you know showing a house to one of these expats and I got this shooting pain in my left shoulder a little while later again I got it and it became you know quite chronic pain I couldn't eat I couldn't drink it was becoming miserable so we went to KEM hospital and uh, you know the doctor over there he came to see me and even he was at his wits end he said you know i can't find anything wrong with this girl in general i don't know what's wrong so they went in laparoscopically and then to their horror they found these bleeding ulcers they saw a tumor growing around my stomach the doctor left me like that came running out and told my dad i have to remove her entire stomach in fact i didn't know i didn't have a stomach for 9 days post surgery when my stomach has been removed how can i get hunger pangs because hunger pangs come from the stomach it was very early in the morning it was about eight or nine days post surgery and i was in the hospital i just woken up and you know i looked at my mother was sleeping with in the hospital with me that day so she had gone to the bathroom so i looked towards the night stand there was a box of shrewsbury biscuits lying there you remember i have not eaten anything orally for days now so i had forgotten that sensation of eating and i didn't know that i didn't have a stomach so i didn't know that i can't eat this biscuit technically so i reached across and ate one took one biscuit ate it and then i thought very nice this is so very yummy and i didn't feel any pain so i thought i can eat the second one so i put my hand and took the second biscuit now at that time the doctor who comes on his rounds the morning doctor and my mother came out of the bathroom it was like a trifecta you know like me and them coming out and me holding the biscuit and my mother said drop the biscuit it was like one of those hindi movies in slow motion you know and i was like why and she said because you don't have a stomach now a normal person when you say this to i looked down and i said tai what i have a stomach and she said no no the inside organ you don't have a stomach and i it didn't even i didn't understand what she was saying i had to relearn how to eat uh, i became a more mindful eater there are days when i struggle with it you know i feel hey i want to eat a vada pav or i want to eat you know pani puri or i want to eat this and, and on days when i'm really desperate i eat it i try not to eat it very often but i fail also na so for this very reason i am the gutless foodie on instagram and that is food that has been cooked by me in general i cook at least 4 to 5 dishes a day and there's a reason i do that because i don't know if uh you know what i cook like let's say i've cooked a cauliflower let's cook a, uh, I've, i've cooked chicken i've cooked a dal i don't know which of those today i'll be able to digest so i always have backup plans simply because just because i could digest chicken yesterday doesn't mean i can eat it today so you know when i had to relearn about food google things i tried to look for things i tried to look for answers i was not getting those answers so i created a facebook group where i encourage people to share old recipes i realized that i was through my learning process was educating other people and they could apply it to their lives and improve their life beginning when i started instagram uh, i really didn't know how the app worked i didn't even know it was an app my god and uh, so i was just putting whatever i put on facebook i used to get 3 likes a per post and you know things like that and then you know slowly slowly when i started fine tuning the way i presented my stuff my food i started plating it better i looked at other people's instagram feeds i realized what they were doing i understood the concept of it and that's how the feed grew and it took on a life of its own food is possibly the best positive four letter word that's happened in my life
Even today, when I go out and tell people, sorry, I can't eat, I don't have a stomach, the idea doesn't occur to them, the concept doesn't even sink in that this is even a possibility. People tell me all the time that, oh, we are inspired by you, you inspire us. If I inspire you, use that inspiration to empower yourself into living the best life that you can live for yourself. Because there's nobody else like you, you are unique.